Here as well is uh, the Brooklyn Center Community Association that represents the western side as well. So we clearly have, as Betty has indicated, we clearly have a lot of, of uh, sub-neighborhoods in geographical areas that are very important. So thank you for coming. I'm Councilman Joe Santiago and I represent Ward 14, which represents Ohio City, Tremont, Stockyard, Clark Fulton neighborhood, and the Metro Hospital area up to almost 71. It's a very diverse community with about 24,000 people currently. Um, with the redistricting, we will probably be adding or screwing around um, 2,200 people to add to the 25,000 that is needed for the new zoning that was passed by the voters. So thank you very much. Max Zone, fortunate to represent the residents of Ward 17, which include the neighborhoods of Detroit Shoreway, Ohio City, Stockyards, parts of the Flats, uh, all the way to the mouth of the Cuyahoga River, and really pleased and uh, humbled by your presence tonight that you care that much about your community and that you want to be involved in this process. Thank you for coming. These are the three councilmen who are sponsoring this meeting, and we want to thank them for doing that. There's some other of your colleagues who have joined us. Uh, councilman Bracatello. Uh, uh, councilman Tony Bracatelli, representing the uh, uh, Broadway neighborhood, Jack Asheville, Blue Town, all kinds of those neighborhoods <laughs> in North and South Broadway. Um, I uh, committed my uh, colleague to be here today, unfortunately. Zoning meeting tonight with some of our other residents dealing with car crushers and scrap bears and those kind of things that we deal with as uh, council members. So, uh, another respect for me uh, stepping on the list. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Cleveland City Councilman Zach Reed. I represent the uh, Mount Pleasant area for the last nine years, which is on the southeast side of the city. represents Ward 16, and he's our, our major presenter tonight, so I kind of saved him until last. Um, and I'll, uh, you can tell us what, what, what uh, neighborhood you represent. Uh, my name is Kevin Kelly. I represent a uh, portion of the Old Brooklyn neighborhood and a part of the Stockyards area. Um, and I've been in this seat since 2005, and I've had the pleasure of serving on the Charter Review Commission in addition to my council duties. And it was during that time that, uh, wait, you know what, I'm going to have to stop for a minute, because after, after everybody talked about the neighborhoods that they represented, they gave an opportunity to clap, so I'm going to let you uh, <laughs> clap for the neighborhood, not me, but for old Brooklyn and Stockyard. Okay, I also want to mention the, <clears throat> there are also some um, nonprofit organizations who are co-sponsors tonight. I'm going to read the list that was on the flyer. And um, if you're with that group, I just would like you to raise your hand, and uh, we'll recognize everyone again. The Detroit Shoreway Community Development Organization, Esperanza, Inc., Hispanic Business Association, Hispanic Roundtable, Merrick House, Near West Side, May Dugan Multi-Service Center, Northeast Ohio Citizens League, Ohio City Near West Development Corporation, Old Brooklyn Community Development Corporation, Spanish American Committee, Stockyard Redevelopment Corporation, Tremont West Development Corporation, and Westside Community House. to reduce the number of wards in the city of Cleveland. 
The second purpose of the meeting tonight is for each of us to have an opportunity to share our thoughts, our hopes, our concerns about what we hope the outcome of that process will be. Those contributions from each of you will be recorded and forwarded to the members of City Council who have the responsibility to make the decision regarding ward boundaries. Secondly, I want to be clear about what we will not or cannot do tonight. We do not have the authority to make decisions regarding this process. City Council does. So we will forward our recommendations to that decision-making body. Secondly, we do not have, and City Council does not yet have, the information about what specific ward boundary changes are being proposed. So we will be recommending guidelines or principles, but not specific ward boundaries. When that information about proposed new ward boundaries becomes available, it will be forwarded to all of you who have signed in tonight. So I just want to remind you, if you didn't sign in, be sure and do that because we want to get information out to you as it develops. Um, I guess I also, I also would like to thank uh, members of the media who are here tonight. We really appreciate your uh, taking an interest um, in this issue that's so important to all of us. Okay, we're going to move now to the presentation by Councilman Kevin Kelly. I'd like to refer you to two handouts that you should have received as you came in, which are relevant to this section of the meeting. One is a copy of the ordinance, which put this issue on the 2008 November ballot, and it was approved by the voters, by all of us. A timeline of the events, past and future, which relate to the redistricting, I think is on the back of, um, of that handout, on the back of the agenda. Okay. All right, so now I'd like to introduce Councilman Kelly and get into the meat of the meeting. Councilman Kelly was a member of the Charter Review Commission in 2008, which, among other things, proposed the reduction of the size of City Council. He actually chaired the Subcommittee on Council Redistricting, so he's well qualified to inform us about how we came to this point and to comment on how the redraw is proceeding. Councilman